Hi, right, Shalom, Mike. I'm first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle Elves of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that she's wearing our true favor Saturday. And yeah, today I just want to get into a lesson on how now this is the time where the books are open, man. You know, this is the time where the scriptures are meant to be read. You know, matter of fact, um, because it was going to be a period of time where this book made sense, man. You know, in, in its entirety. You know, so this is Daniel 12 and 4. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. See? See, this book will seal until the end, man. You know? It will seal it until the end. Why? Because once you read it, and this time it was going to make sense, man. You know? It said, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. So, the the book was going to be sealed until the time of the end, and we in that time. Now, we can go into the book of Daniel and know what it means. We can go to the book of Isaiah, Jeremiah, you know, uh, Obadiah. You know, we see, now we understand what, those, what, those, what the scripture was talking about, because we in that time now, man. Matter of fact, let's get, some, let's get this in Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. See, so, and it's just not talking about the vision, what Habakkuk saying. No, just talking about the visions as a whole, those those prophecies, these tokens that have been shown to the to the to the prophets. And now we able to see what it what the what the vision is saying now, man. When it said he's speaking, could get what action speak louder than words. When you how about your mouth shot say something, it just don't he just don't say it and it just fall on your ears. He gonna say it and you gonna see it, man. You know? It says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though a terror wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tear. So the point is, is that now we in the time to where we are able to eat this whole meal now, man. You know, we're able to eat this this uh the 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 this lamb dinner. Matter of fact, because um, Yahweh Shai he had to be slain first for us to get this book. Matter of fact, let's get that in Revelation the fifth chapter, man. Let me show you the importance of this knowledge, man. You don't understand the scriptures. You know, so let's see if I can find this real quick. Let me just get to the point. Well, hold on. Well, let's see. All right. I start at the top, matter of fact. It says, And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. So this book was completely sealed, man. Yeah, you can, you, can, you know, back then you can read the Psalms and the Proverbs, you know. But really, those prophecies, man, you know. That was sealed. You know? It says, And I saw a strong angel reclaiming with a loud voice, who was worthy to open a book and to lose the seers of, and no man in heaven, nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book needed to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open a book and to read open and to read the book needed to look thereon. And yeah, and why did John weep? Because that was gonna be our way out, man. You know. The gateway to the kingdom is through this knowledge, man. You know, this ain't called the book of life for no reason, man. You know, so John, well, so now I'm going to jump down. Well, matter of fact, I can tell you on, matter of fact, it says, And one of the elders said unto me, We not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seers. Oh, that's telling my Yahweh Shai. And it says, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain. See? Having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High, sent forth into all the world. So, is Yahweh shot? The one, now he having complete power. It says, Seven spirits which I sent out to all the earth, meaning what? This um, prophecy, man. The spirit of prophecy, man. You know? 
But guess what? How was had to be slain first before we was able to obtain that knowledge, man. You know, and it was a point where, matter of fact, let me get something real quick. Because right when the Lord, you know, uh, was, uh, died, you know, it wasn't like we got the truth right then and there. No, the lamb had to get prepared, you know, and everything like that. Now the time where it, it, it been roasting and cooking. Now we eating off of it now, man. You know, certain things had to come to pass, you know, so we can't understand. You know, it wasn't like in the 1500s we were able to get the whole, you know, we were able to go and Joel too and get this and get that. No, man. No, it was a period of, period of things had to happen for us so we can get this word as a whole, man. So, matter of fact, let's get this um, St. Matthew 9. And I started 14. It said, Then came to him the disciples of John. Saying, why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? And Yahweh came unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then shall they fast. And what it means that the bridegroom be taken from them? Meaning when he's gonna get when he get put to death, then we're gonna fast, meaning what we're gonna we're gonna lack that knowledge, man. It was gonna. It was gonna be a period of time where we were gonna be those dry bones, you know. That's why he, you know, uh, one of the things he always constantly talked about was sin AD, because that was gonna be the, uh, that was gonna get the ball rolling, man, or the falling away, you know. So then we was gonna fast, man. Th that lamb had to be prepared, you know. It wasn't like once you slain the lamb, you eat it, you ain't cooked it yet, you ain't did nothing to it, you were just gonna eat it. No, you the lamb had to be prepared and cooked. But guess what? Now we in that time. Well, we eat. We eat now, man. Now we in a time where these scriptures, the tokens, is, is being revealed unto us, man. You know, matter of fact, let's get this in Colossians 1. In uh, Colossians 1 and 26, it said, Even the mystery which have been from ages and from generations. See? We, that's when we were fasting from, from different, different generations, man. We had to come back a couple of times because it wasn't a time for us to uh, uh, get this truth, man. But now we're in, we in that time. It says, but now, see, in this day, but now is made manifest to his saints. See, now this word is being made manifest to us, man. Now the, the Lord, Yahweh, Shemal, Shai, is revealing the tokens on to us, man. You know, because it was all the build up, man. You know, certain things, like I said, certain things had to happen for us to even get this truth, man. You know, uh, just going back to, you know, hardcore bondage, you know, uh, you know, the devil threw us in hardcore slavery, you know, these world wars. All that had to happen, so now we get, we able to get this. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me get something real quick. Sick as a fool. And, um. Uh, 37, it says, By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times. And he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Now we know Yahweh he numbered the kings. But guess what? Certain things have to go on between these different these, these time periods, man. That's, that's, why, that's how you uh, gauge history. You know, you gauge history, these different events. You gauge them by kingdoms, man. So we know how Esau is gonna go down when that when that when that when he implement this chip that was that's gonna be a sign that that's that's gonna be the end of his his rule man you know matter of fact because um you know certain things had to happen before this king to go down and a quick quick example I, I think it was the prophet Simeon the Lord told Simeon he ain't gonna die till he seen how was shot let's see. I think this is it. Yep, this is it right here. This is um call out y'all by smell shot. This is Saint Luke two and twenty five. It said, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord. Yeah, I was shot, man. See, so it, it was the spirit revealing to him he couldn't die until he seen how was shot, man. You know, it says, uh, matter of fact, let's see, 
Oh, continue on. It said, and he came by the spirit into the temple, and when he, and when the parents brought in the child, Yahweh shot to do him for, for out, do for him after the custom of the law. Then took he up in his arms and blessed the Most High and said, Lord, now that now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. See, for mine eye have seen thy salvation. See, so so it, the Lord said up the well. Simeon one couldn't die until that certain event happened. Was was he he had to, he had to see how was shot man. You know. So same thing with this. Before we got this truth, we had to have Yahweh Shai had to be put to death, and certain events had to go on, had to play out, so we can uh, get this truth, man. You know, like I said, the, the different war wars, all that had to go down. You know, uh, 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 the, the uh, like I said, this devil putting us in hardcore slavery. You know, even America coming, you know, America coming up. All that little horn, all that had, to, all that had to play out, man. But now we're in a time when we can eat now, man. You know, now we're in a time when these tokens are being revealed. You know, uh, let's get this in Second Ezra six. Second Ezra six, and uh, bear with me. So like that's fine. Second Ezra six, and um. Uh, Second twenty. It said, and when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished. See, that's the it's the 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 um uh, the the uh, the time is being numbered. You know, this kingdom being numbered when it's beginning to vanish away, when this kingdom is coming to an end, it says shall be finished, then will I show these tuggers. So pretty much at the end of this thing, then the tuggers are gonna be revealed. This is we now we're we, now we see that we we are in the end of the fourth beast, man. You know, this last leg, man. Now we see that so-called white man is the devil, man. You know, now we see these tokens with the scriptures are talking about, man. We in that time. Because the book is a modern book, man. I guess, like, just going back on, just reading the book of Joel, Joel, like the second chapter. That's talking about the thermonuclear missiles. You couldn't read that back then, uh, right after the, the Lord was slain 2,000 years ago. You know, it wasn't open then. That land had to be prepared. You know, things, events had to play out on the planet Earth, you know, so we can even get this truth. And guess what? That It's going to be such as the microchip is one of the things that's going to, is that, that gaze to show us that, hey, this devil is, is not, is, is even at the doors to be thrown out, man. You know? It says, it says, and when the world shall begin to vanish away, shall be finished then will I show these tokens the books shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together so the books is being opened and it's not just in the corner swell but on the, in the firmament meaning what on the internet man and that because it, it's our job you know as a province of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is to uh, tell you what these things mean what amount of the things uh, the scripture says man and we tell you we at the end now you know, I'll tell you that um, the truth. Matter of fact, let me jump down to um, 27, second Ezra 6 and 27. It said, For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. See why? Because uh, the thing had to be loose, it was this devil, he had to be loose and deceive the whole world. They had to hell, man. So this truth can come up and, and destroy all that, man. That's even that's what he lost a man of what is it's, it's truth against deception, man. You know, it says, as for faith, faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. See, so we had to fast through that period of time. But now we once again in, man. Now we once again, uh, we, we, got, we, got the, we got the whole meal now. We ain't just got the side dishes, you know. Now we got the, we got the lamb as the main course, man. You know, and guess what? We declaring this truth, man. You know, we in the time now. This is this is that this is the modern book, man. This is the this is the modern book. It, it talks about this devil, his technology. You know how this kingdom is finna go down. You know who, what, when, where, and how is finna go down. Yeah, you know I mean. You know, so yeah, I can um, 
I just hope that we're edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to your hope. By Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakodash. Double honor to the positive elders, great millstone. Shalom to the elect that word in all true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bible, Bible. Shalom. 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 Shalom.